Coco Jones. I honestly thought that was like a rapper or something. When well, she's that. a singer. She's a and she okay. was on the Let It Shine. So I got to go over to her place and I played basketball with the kid from Everybody Hates Chris. No. Yeah. Most uncoordinated wow. motherfucker I've ever met in my life. Really? <laughs> dude, he, he, no, just, dude. He could not. You're like, no wonder everybody fucking hates your ass, dude. No <laughs> wonder. You can't even fucking dribble. No. Oh, looking down. <laughs> really? Dude. We were like, I mean, I was like 12 or something like that whenever that shit came out. Uh-huh. But like, I was like, holy shit. You're like the guy for, you You met Terry Crews. Terry Crews. That's right. He worked like three jobs. Yeah. The wife was always. Cheapskate. He's working. He's yeah. working. Yeah, dude. Even, I remember that show. Do you ever have to set out the chicken like, you know, your oh, parents are coming home? Yeah. It's iced. And you're like, <laughs> oh, mother. I, I used to get a hair dryer. No, dude. I <laughs> used to try dude, to speed up that process. <laughs> dude, but a hair dryer? Oh, uh, dude, anything hot? You know, yeah. some I uh, dude, I put hot hands, hot on dude, the chicken. I, I didn't want to get whooped, bro. Did you? Yeah. Did you get whooped? Oh, yeah. With yeah. what? But dude, that that's a great follow up question because most people would be like, I got whipped by the belt. The yeah. belt was a good one. The good leather belt. Mm-hmm. Oof. You, you, yeah. Mom or dad? Dad. Dad? Yeah, mom did it once or twice, and it, they knew it wasn't doing the job, so my dad would be like, all right, let me step in. And I'd be like, uh. Dude, no, mine was always like the threat of dad. Really? Like, mom would whoop the shit out of me, but like, mm-hmm. like, like but it's like yeah. a girl. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to cry about getting hit by a girl? Mm-hmm. So I couldn't do anything. So it would if I went off the rails, like there was one point I got caught smoking weed in my, my closet yeah i got caught smoking weed in, in my the clo- closet is there a window in the closet it was a walk-in closet yeah it wasn't like okay. i was just hot box okay i was gonna say what do you what yeah okay 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 it was like one o'clock in the morning mom mm. i just i just hear fucking oh! and you got a little bit of a, a high going on i wu-tang the roach oh you know you swallowed it yeah get rid of the evidence gone right and i go up to the door Hello, mother. Just fucking. <laughs> yeah. Eyes I, red. Eyes red. And Hi. she goes, if I go in that closet, is there going to be weed? To which I said, no. No. There's not. It's gone. It's gone. It's, gone. <laughs> it's all gone. You, can, you ain't taking it from me, mom. <laughs> and she walked in. It smelled like dang. Uh-huh. She, she came out and she goes, let's go tell your father. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning. Dad, <laughs> Dad goes to sleep at 6 p.m. My you, asshole is so tight right now, dude. I'm so scared. I was like, no, you can just hit me. You, yeah. You don't, Let's just get it over with. Yeah. Yeah. And she comes down and she goes, uh, guess what your firstborn did? That's how you know. Wow. Not even by the name, guess but the what title. Your firstborn did. Yeah. And he's sleeping and he goes, I don't care. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> and you're like, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm like, Mom, okay. See, he's fine. Yeah. And she goes, he was smoking weed in his closet. And that I've never seen dad was like. He went from sleeping, uh-huh. wrapped around. He's left-handed. I was sitting on the bed, wrapped around, just doinked me one good time, oh. and then went r- right back. Dude, like, oh. in one fluid motion, hit, went right back. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and my mom was like, don't hit him. Oh, my don't. God. Oh, my God. And she's, like, <laughs> escorting me out of the room. And yeah. I swear to God, I'm walking out of the room, and I hear. <laughs> Dude, he did it in his sleep, bro. There was no emotion attached to it. it no. No. Was- all right, I got to do this because your mom's bringing bringing it to me right now, and I'm trying to fucking sleep, so you just got to handle it. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, it was like, I don't condone hitting your kids or, like, mm. disciplining them. Like I don't, you know, I think there's other ways to do it. But mm. with that being said, bro, every time I got hit, yeah, I deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Uh, yeah, every, yeah, my parents didn't, like, hit me on the regular, but w- I totally agree. When they did hit me, I deserve that's, it. That's that's yeah, on and, me. And I learned from it. I was like, all right, I'm not going to do that shit anymore. No, you know? exactly, dude. I I, yeah. I put a brick in my pants one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was at like a. Uh, my mom was showing this house, and I like walked in, and there was like a snow globe, and I used to think snow globes were bouncy balls, mm-hmm. and I <laughs> and I smashed that shit on the ground. You thought a snow globe was a bouncy ball? Bro? I I don't know, dude. I was right, like right. eight. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you meant like a couple of years ago. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I was twenty, <laughs> and I was no. like, "Mom, don't, don't give me a whooping." Uh, she, she was like, "Just wait until we get home." And I, 
At the, the threat is always sucks, man. It's the threat, dude. It's like, oh. Now you're just basking. Yeah, in it. the unknown. <laughs> oh. And so I grabbed a brick and I, I put it in my pants and uh-huh. I, I was like, you know, an extra like four feet <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> or like, four inches off the. What the fuck are you doing? And we got home and mom went, okay, I've calmed down. Like, mm-hmm. yes, you're like, you're a dumbass, mm-hmm. but like, I'm not going to do anything. And I was like, oh, okay. And I remember I had to wait for her to get out of the car and like go inside. Pull the brick out. And I, <laughs> dude, there's a brick in the woods at the back of my house somewhere where I just chucked it in. I was like, I'm good. Yeah. I did a, I did a book one time and my dad immediately knew. He like, you know, you sit, you sit up there, you sit up there waiting. He's like, go wait in your room. And you're like, <laughs> and then you go, you're just like sitting on your bed and you're like, what can I use as like self-defense? And I was like, okay, okay. I'll put a fucking, I think it was like the giving tree or some book, you know, that I had, I like put it, put it over my ass. And he was like, all right. And he was, you know, talked to me. He's like, all right, get, I got to spank you. And I turn around and he's like, what the fuck <laughs> is your square <laughs> ass doing? What the fuck is this? I've been working out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't help. Oh God. Yeah. That's so uh, the, now and they didn't do it a lot, but it was yeah. just like, yeah, like I, it, you know, whenever someone didn't, like mm-hmm. you're like your mom never, you never got beaten, never got sl- You yeah. know the Vulcan grip. Your your mom ever get you oh, by the leg, dude, get you by the leg and just uh, it, like while you're talking to people and she's like keeping mm. a smile, talking to uh-huh. the person and under the table she's just like, oh. your mom sounds very similar. Yeah, my mom would do. I love, I love you, mom. Love you, mom. Yeah, because she's gonna be. Well, I love you, mom. But she, she would pinch. It's like these, just, just move right oh, here. Just, oh. just get like your arm or something. Just oh fuck, the, the pinch right just there. Just a pinch. And you're like oh. ah, God. It, yeah. it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, that and dad would just stare. Dad, dad never. Dad would just be like, hmm? uh-huh. and I'd go, I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But dad didn't. I, I learned this later in my life. Like. He's terrible with dealing with those kind of situations. Apparently, mm. before any kind of situation like that, he'd deliberate with my mom and be like, "You do it." Like I don't, uh-huh. I don't he didn't like giving my dog a bath because mm. the dog would look at him like really sad, mm-hmm. and he he can't deal with that. It's kind heart. I I get that too. Like I can't deal with bad emotion sometimes. It's something I'm working on. Yeah. Like I remember at one point my uh I was. I was crying about something. I was like 14, 15. I was like in my mom's room crying about something. And uh, my dad walked in and I like turned around and I was like, eh. and he went, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and just walked away. Oh, not right now. I went, eh. and he was like, oh, <laughs> and just walked right back. And I was like, Dude, that's, oh, that's great. Okay. All that's right. fucking hilarious. Now I do that to people. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I'm like, oh, don't be sad. That's, that's actually really interesting because I, you're, you're the firstborn, right? You're, you're the first. Mm-hmm. I'm the middle. So I always would be like, if someone was crying, I'd be like, what can we do to like help? You know, let's everybody, everybody be happy. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah. It was always like jokes for my family. Like after my uh, grandmother died, my nanny, she, uh, I remember it wasn't not too long after my mom made a joke and she was like, ah, she's looking up laughing right now. And we went, what, looking up? And she was like, ah, she'd like that joke. That's just like how I, I guess a lot oh. of our family like coped with shit. My family, man, my my brothers like the dark humor. My parents are not a fan yeah. of the dark humor. If because you know I show you those videos of people dying and shit. Well, I have I have pretty horrific videos. Yeah, but they, if I'm like mom, watch this. She is not cool. She doesn't like it. The- but my little brother, I can open up Instagram right now and it's just car crashes and people jumping off shit. And you're like, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. a different style. My mom will send me some sad fucking shit. Like, yes, dude. Sad. My mom will send me sad shit or something to make me be like, wow, maybe I, I need to be doing that differently. Uh, yeah. You're like, change my, per- my personality about it. Dude, I, mm. she sent me this sad song one time. Uh, and I was like. I texted her back. I was like, mom, I was like, don't make me cry right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, expecting a loving mother to be like, oh, no, I'm trying. Yeah, I I thought of you or something like that. But Uh she goes, pussy. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. That's great. And I was like, okay. (laughs) Thanks, mom. All right, let's get into the episode, huh? Yeah. There we go. Welcome back to another Spare Bedroom Podcast episode. Oh, fuck yeah. What episode? 
Uh, 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 yeah. All right, dude. What episode? You know what episode it is? 69. <laughs> 69? 69. All right. Well, then, okay, let's. Uh, I'm going to do this. Since it's episode 69, let me just tell you about oh, me and Chelsea were watching Tarzan not too long ago, the live action one with um, the. Uh, his little brother plays it, the clown. He's got like some Hungarian name, Alex. But anyway, you've seen it's, the live action. It, the clown, is in. No, 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 Tarzan? no. Okay, the um, the guy who plays Tarzan in the live action. Tarzan. Is it the clown from. His little brother is the it clown okay and his father is the guy in dune who's like really fat and like lays in oil harkonnen yeah the baron harkonnen. i believe i believe that's like their family i think they're all actors anyway we were watching it and margot robbie sees tarzan right in the jungle and he's like smelling her puss <laughs> and he's like can't speak english he's doing like you know ape mating calls and then she like gets with him that's that was the most interesting part to me was that if the roles were if the roles were reversed, okay? <laughs> if the roles were reversed and and say I go to the jungle, I'm out in the jungle yeah. and I see a woman that I that I find very attractive, this right? Hot. Hot. Yeah. But is an ape, right? Well. <laughs> well, well, as in as in like lives with apes. I guess she would and be. It doesn't hairy, speak. It'd like, be like everyone would be like, "Whoa, dude." Whoa, man! I don't know. You're ridiculous. You think it would pass? Like if if I I came, mean I'd I have questions. Home, like, if I came home with her around my mom, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "Who the fuck is this?" And I was like, "Well, her name is Becky." And then you try to talk to her, and she's all, <laughs> "You'd be like, huh? That's awesome, huh? That's awesome." <laughs> I'd be like, "Look at you, did, you know, yeah. diversifying your portfolio." <laughs> this is. Folio. This is nice. Like I don't know. Like, yeah. is she? As long as she's like n- not like smelly, right? Or like hygiene, or like racist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, that would be if she like That'd said the n word when she. I'd be like, bro. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, bro. You can't. You can't bring that. Yeah. But if she's just like a, you know, kind hearted. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I guess the other traits of Tar- I didn't even think of it like, that. like the other traits of Tarzan must have came out. You know, it would be bad if you were like John Smith, the guy who like fucked Pocahontas or whatever. That because mm. she was like thirteen, dude. Really? Yeah, Pocahontas was young as fuck, and oh, like wow. he was like thirty or something like that. So Ooh, like that puts it okay. That's weird. That, that's weird. That puts a sour taste in this this one. Okay. I don't know. Like like I, getting with someone that's a little you know a little tribal a little bit like uh, one with the the elements uh-huh. i guess i mm-hmm. i don't think that that would be the the worst the mm-hmm. it, i would have questions mm-hmm. it, i'd be like you know where what the fuck where, yeah, yeah. Did, where did you find her uh yeah if you were on like dating apps or something like that i i'd, I'd be a little curious i feel like it would become a problem if i'm dating a chick right and she's from the jungle I feel like it would become a problem whenever I want to do modern day things or I got to I got to say say I I get hurt, right? I sprain my ankle. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, "You need to wrap a bamboo stick around it." Yeah. Or shit like that. And I'm like, "I need to go to the hospital." And she's like and she's like, "No, no, no. We need to find a silkworm." It gets leeches. And I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah. I feel like I'd get pissed off about that, but no, I mean maybe if she's making me like an herbal tea or something, you know, she's out there. Our garden's all nice. She, she's growing shit. I'm like, oh, oh uh, an intruder comes in. She gets up, bow and arrow, yeah, like, that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah no, you're it, like, oh, okay. You, you just hear like, and that's what you wake up to. And she's like, don't worry, like, yeah, I already got him. But he's just like posted, like that's hot. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, cool. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Okay. All right. And yeah. Then, no. Yeah. No. I, I would be. You, I'd be like a little house husband. <laughs> house husband. Yeah. Yeah. I'd make sure I'd yeah. make her her meals, whatever she's mm-hmm. used accustomed to. Just like yeah. I don't know, uh, boar. Yeah. I, I just a pig on a spit or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything is cooked over an open flame. I'm wearing the daddy of the patio. Yeah. Uh, Dude, the daddy of the patio. I'd wear, I'd wear an apron with just that, uh-huh. but just the apron. You know, mm-hmm. she'd come back from I don't know where, where she would work. Probably like. Uh, Probably like a 
national forest, like yeah, like a park ranger. She's a park ranger, state park, uh, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And then she gets home. She, you know, slapped me on the ass. Well, what yeah. are we making tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're or, like, oh, uh, oh, hey, oh, hey, you're home. Oh, hey, hey honey, hey, hey you're home. <laughs> I would love. How, how was work? Did that bitch Teresa keep talking, <laughs> dude? I think what would also piss me off is like if she kept coming to bed. And she was like barefoot all the time, and then her feet were all nasty. Oh. And I'm like, we got the white bed sheets, and I can see her like f- dirty footprint. I'm like, babe, yeah, you know, like come on, what? I, it, I don't want to clean the sheets again. What shit like that? He'd be like, ugh. Imagine her teeth too. I'm a big teeth guy. I am a teeth guy. Like if mm-hmm. you know, like, mm-hmm. and I wow. think every every creature that God has put on this oh, earth wow. is beautiful, except for like mosquitoes and shit. I fucking hate mosquitoes. Great point. But like. Think about you know, the way whenever, she could eat a boneless w- or a wing, like a wing stop wing. Just just, uh, just, yeah, just bites into the, the bone. Yeah, just think about like the fucking uh, grit. As, l- as long as they're not like yellow or like, yeah, you know, like sometimes and everyone's beautiful, but like mm-hmm. too much gum. Yeah. Like you see I the know exactly gums. What you're talking about. How does that happen? I don't think the face fully... You think- <laughs> I don't think it fully makes a you, th- you need to stretch out your face a little. Yeah, I, I don't think it. You know, I don't. I uh, I think if you just like brush the gum, you just close your mouth a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, you'd have to get really good at like talking. Yeah, like, smile. Yeah. Like when you smile, yeah. you would probably like cover your mouth. Oh, that would suck to be covering your mouth all the time, man. I did that whenever I had braces. Do you ever really? have braces? Yeah. How long? <sighs> Three years. Because I had dude, I had this one bottom tooth that still fucks me. Well, I don't wear my retainer at all. Mm-hmm. Like it's bad. I need to be wearing my retainer. Mine just broke. I keep on super gluing it together. Is it the like a uh, plastic or the the metal? It's the metal one. I have the metal one. Yeah, I, and it my teeth were so fucking crooked, bro. It took me a while. It yeah. took me a while, and then they, I had to get wisdom teeth out and shit. It was it was a lot. I have, I fucking hated braces. I was supposed to have braces for five months. Uh. And they lied to you. Got your fucking hopes up. Well, actually, it was my fault. Uh, <laughs> I, I kept At least you're on, taking ownership of it, you know? Dude, I'd come back every few months with like seven brackets missing. And they'd be like, what the fuck are you eating? And I'd yeah. tell them like what I'm eating. I'd be, I'm eating normal food. They never asked me what I was chewing on. Like I would do bottle caps all the time. Oh, uh, bottoms of pins yep i'd just be gnawing in yep. class and, yep. and like they just pop off and so i mm-hmm. had them on for four years oh i had them on for four years because i just all high school yep wow bro. yeah even like prom and everything with them on i think i got them off right before my senior year prom mm-hmm. my junior year i still had them on mm-hmm. and that was did you go to prom mm-hmm. i went freshman year and then junior and senior year Damn, I, I went junior, senior, and we went in a party bus. Yeah, okay, so this bleeds into this next point right here. I, cause we, oh, yeah. We went to a Chick-fil-A, and um, I saw, like, a, they looked like high schoolers in their prom dresses or homecoming or whatever the fuck it is. After, um, I guess they went to Chick-fil-A after. And I was thinking to myself, like, especially to talk to you, because I feel like you as well, I was not the kind of, in high school, I was not the person to go to Chick Fil A after the party, after after prom, or something. There's no, there's two sides. There's either people that want to go to Chick Fil A and they make bracelets and maybe play a game or what? something, or you go to the party, right? Hold, what? I didn't know there were two sides. I only thought there really? was a party. What right. people go to fucking Chick Fil A to make bracelets after prom? This is my point. This is my point. I was always under. The uh, mentality of it's pr- it's prom, right? Yeah. Wh- why would you not want to like go as hard as you could? Get blasted, get fucked up. Uh, yeah, it's prom, dude. Ours was like gambling themed. I I spent the For entire real? night before learning how to count cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I was like, I'm gonna fucking jip the school out of every goddamn dollar they have, <laughs> and I show up fucking late as fuck and uh-huh. apparently the gambling section or like the they blackjack closed it. It, they closed it down i learned all that shit for no reason that's a good theme we always our themes were like gatsby you Gat- know what i mean like gatsby Gatsby's theme cool. it was cool but gambling that seems like fun yeah no it's it, fun it, it's probably irresponsible to it <laughs> like yeah. 
We, I had a gambling problem. I, I can't gamble anymore, dude. I lost too much money. Really? I kept betting against like Tom Brady and LeBron and their problems. Oh, you do like sports betting? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like just like poker or something. Oh, I did that too. I lost so much money. Really? <laughs> yeah. I like it, but I always lose money. Yeah. I, I always lose money. I have this perception of myself as like a really good fucking gambler. Because I watch like World Series of Poker and I watch like Daniel Negreanu and I'm like, yeah, dude, Mm-mm. he's just like me. Mm-mm. Dude, first time I went Mm-mm. and played Texas Hold'em, I lost like $200 oh. in like 30 minutes. Oh. It, it was, no. But I, if you're going to gamble, in my opinion, if you're going to gamble, either way, I feel like you're going to lose money. I'd rather lose the money playing poker blackjack something with cards or roulette or like people around mm-hmm. you know so it's an, an environment instead of being the fucker that like sits on the slot machine that just goes like this and the, the numbers spin and digitally yeah. and you just you're just going to keep losing money that looks like brain just, rot that just seems terrible you ever At see least, the pictures of the old people that are just like yeah like sitting there just you know what are you doing this is not a phone there was one guy like on a scooter that was on like a triple thing and he was just driving around hitting the button on each one of them and I don't know. It doesn't seem fun. Not a phone in sight, you know, just people. Be- <laughs> that seems nice. Yeah. I like the idea of leaving the phones at home, but. But you're trading it just for a, a, just a to, screen with like yeah. even more fucking flashy lights and shit. Yeah. I don't know. When people are like, oh, this generation always on their phone. I feel like people were like on their new, like the newspaper. Right. You yeah. Know. People are always had their attention somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. But now, we're, now it's just way more pre- or not prevalent, but way more scene yeah maybe well I feel, what's the what's the word or how would you phrase it i feel like there wasn't people that like would read a newspaper like while walking a street mm-hmm. but like you see someone on their phone walk then right that's a fucking problem right, right, like, right what are right. you doing yeah like I'm, it's probably it's definitely more addictive mm-hmm. but like i don't think there was ever a time in history where people were just like standing around yeah just doing nothing just nothing you got to be doing something. Mm-hmm. We were just talking about that. You got to do something. You got to do something, dude. <laughs> you got you to gotta do something. Right. Yeah, I think even in like, okay, well, even in like cowboy times, people were like, playing the guitar. They were they were making instruments. You had, they didn't, they were making their food. Yeah. They were finding food. That's fun. They were having That's fun. That's fun. I would, I would rather, no, I'm not just saying, I would much rather truly Live in you. I mean, this is once again no source. Eighteen <laughs> hundreds, because is that cowboy era? It's like us coming over to the new land. Yeah, that's, you have your plot of land. You're tilling the field. You're building your house. Yeah, that seems like going on the Oregon Trail. No distractions. You're 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 a man. Your that son seems- just died of fucking malaria and some shit, but that's okay. You have yeah. fucking eight other, mm-hmm. eight other kids and mm-hmm. your wife's pregnant again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I think just everything smelly. Ugh. Everything smells. You'll, Yo. you've never, and I talked about this a little, I feel like last time, but you've never been, you went to Denver. You've been no. to Denver. No, you've no. never been to Denver. Never been to Denver. Dude, you can understand like when people were going West, Mm-hmm. And like why the city of Denver was made, like people just kind of stopped there because it's like Denver, everything's flat. It was probably like you had your challenges getting there, mm-hmm. but then it's just giant fucking mountains. And I could s- totally see the first people getting there and be like, fuck that. No, let's just stay here. We're here. Yeah. Dude, this is nice. Like convincing yeah. themselves like we don't need to go to California. There's probably gold here. Oh. We're good. As long as we're not in fucking Wyoming. Ooh, with like, like Kansas or something. Yeah, no. Uh, what's the worst state? Wow, what a great question. What a fantastic question. What is the dude. worst state? Like if we oh, if we ran the country question. If we ran the country like a NBA franchise and we could like make a trade yeah. f- with Europe, like we'll give you blank for Italy or fucking oh Greece. God. Oh my god. This, you, that was such a, all right, we gotta we gotta do our ad read here, just keep that in mind. The worst state, oh, wow, dude, I never hear anybody say anything, anything about Iowa or fucking North Dakota. No. no. North Dakota? What the fuck happens there? That should just be Dakota. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. I Well, that was originally put in place because of, a lot of our geography is based around slavery when it comes down to it, because like, (laughs) 
uh, like <laughs> those states got put in because there had to be an even amount of free states and slave states. Like a, a lot of shit, like uh, that you know formed what what had uh, like what we have now. There was a lot of deliberation over yeah, like but this should be a slave state. This should be a free state, and like a lot of it was based around that. Like there was a uh damn dude that's so depressing to think about yeah but it's also like mm-hmm. history so it's cool yeah that's true like i i don't think uh hell i don't think alaska dealt with that nah. yeah, no they didn't deal with that the bright side we yeah. got that from russia from a for a fucking steal i love yoinked it russia man I, you love Russia? They're fun. Singing salts. Have, have you guys, you know, are you some uh, gym goers? Uh, someone that likes to make their body look as best as possible for the summer season? Well, we have a solution for you. Smelling salts just aren't doing the trick. No, they're not. No, let's, they're not. Let's face it. So what we've invented in our uh, science laboratory in Ashkenazi. Right down the hall. Uh, right. <laughs> We have about three of our top chemists on this. What you're going to do, you're going to need a spotter. Do not do this by yourself. Mm -hmm. You take four crystals. Do Do not not do more than four crystals. No more than four. Drip them into your eyes. You get 37 seconds seconds of the most energy you ever had in your entire life. Yeah. Are you at the gym and maybe you're like, I just want to hit that new max. Or maybe something horrific happened. A car has fallen on somebody. And Ah. you're the first on the scene. What do you need to have? Drop, 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 drop. Seeing salts. Seeing salts. Yep. Drop them on there. Drop them yep. on their eyes. All yep. of a sudden, that car, it's not 2,000 yep. pounds. It feels more like 20 pounds. Throw Easy. it. Easy Move pick it. up. Yeah. And now you may be thinking, is there a burn? What, what's, the, what's the feeling like? There is no burn. It's almost like if you were putting eye drops in your eye, right? It's calming to the eye. It doesn't burn. There's no redness. There's no scarring. It's GMO-free, vegan-friendly, organic, all-natural, good shit. The only side effect being the hat man. The hat man pops up in your room, but yeah. it, once you can deal with that, yeah. I'm telling you the benefits, yeah. 37 seconds of yeah. the strongest you've ever been. Yeah. Now, you can go to their website and type in code SPARE. For 25% off. Yeah, go to www.seeingsalts.com. Use code SPARE at checkout and get 25% off your purchase. They usually come in packs of two for $19.99, but you can save yourself some money today. Get yourself the new workout supplement. Seeing Salts. All right, dude. I wanted to um, pitch you this movie idea, okay? Because I know you love pirates. Yep. And uh, I talked to my friend Connor about it, and we were mulling over this pirate movie. And so, okay, here, there's a couple different things that go into it. Hear me out. It's um, you're, you're on a pirate ship, okay. okay? The whole movie is on a pirate ship. You never, ever, ever see land. It's pretty much, think of, uh, we're going to go black and white. Okay. We're going, but not a lot of grays. I want hard blacks and hard whites. Not a lot of like gray colors in there. Okay. I want the feeling of uh, handheld shots. Like you're in the midst of the crew. Oh, like a found footage kind of. Found footage, maybe even POV style. I want want there to be the black bars on the sides, not at the top and bottom. Yeah. So it's kind of like square. Yeah. And handheld POV style, the feeling of like a... A drift and drunk and miserable and pain, as in you you see that guy laying in his uh, in his hammock or whatever while the ship is rocking, and then like a bucket of shit falls, ah. or the guy has a has gangrene and they have to saw off his leg to put a peg leg on, right? Or they're like, where are we? And they're trying to use their compass. And one of my favorite scenes that I've thought of is it's black and white, right? Mm-hmm. The water is calm. And there was, there was mutiny on the bounty because the guy, one of the people doesn't believe the captain knows where he's going. They've been adrift for so long yeah. and it's terrible. We're running out of food and it's kind of that feeling. And the whole crew is standing right by the edge of the boat and there's a, there's a plank walking out and everybody's watching this one dude tied up and the captain is yelling at him, fucking jump, get the fuck out of here, just screaming at him. And everybody's sitting silent and maybe hear a couple... Ah, like birds, seagulls, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And this dude just walks and then jumps off into the fucking ocean. And, and it's just this dies. just fucking feeling of 
Ugh. Almost like the lighthouse, kind of like, mm-hmm. like, but on pirate ships. Yeah, and just, just gross and and tough. I would, yeah. It, oh, that's never been that. That's never been like. There's never been anything. I like found footage stuff too. I'm thinking like, like who's our POV character? Is he like 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 just a like a little captain's boy of some of some sort? Like, yeah, like, dude. Oh, that's a great addition. I haven't thought of. Yeah, what if it was told from the a younger perspective, someone growing up on the ship? Yeah, because I feel like you can go Captain Jack Sparrow yeah. style, but I don't want it to be playful. Uh, uh-uh. I want this to be like like a kid escaped like indentured servitude. And like just like was in one of those barrels or whatever, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then like they needed the extra manpower or whatever, mm-hmm. like so they're like whatever, and he just, you know, sweeps, you know. But like once they killed that guy, right? They they they, they knocked him over. Uh-huh. Over, he was like one of their best gunners, you know, uh, oh, of the cannon. Fuck. So like not too long after that, they're like, we need a man on that gun, and they point to you, like why, well, you know, like the guy your wow. pov character and they're like man that gun and just hearing like his breath like you know the heartbeat kind of pick up i've no, i didn't even i how did i forget about the cannons dude yeah yeah and, he, and he's just like they're like oh, you know maybe he drops a cannonball it starts like rolling and he has to like go catch it and shit oh that's and a while great they're being scene. attacked that's a great scene dude he, he goes like the cannonball gets stopped by like one of the people's foots and they're like, get your shit together. And he looks up and his head gets taken off by a oh, cannon. Just, oh, fuck. Oh, and he just grabs the cannonball and he's like running back. You oh, know? wow. This movie's going to be so good, that, dude. That would be heat. But then like, say it's a rival oh. pirate group, right? Mm-hmm. It's not like a, it's not like a governor or like there, or like any kind of military. Mm-hmm. And then his ship gets taken over. His ship, like mid movie, but they they saw they like he he was the only one when he fired his cannon. It went like through their starboard side or whatever, uh-huh. and he's just a kid. And like it, the captain of that ship comes over, and they're like, "Oh, you know, we saw we'll that shot. That. Like we'll we're, we're, we'll we're work with you. Have you have you work with us?" Mm-hmm. And it's just like his life of like bouncing around. He's on that new ship, and he watches his old ship. And all the people he knew, just that that ship is on fire. Yeah. And just in the waves now, and they're sailing away, and all those men are just dying he, in the ocean. But he doesn't even care to, like, he, oh. like, they were all dickheads to him. He didn't want to be in the first place. Yeah, he's, he's like, just, whatever. Oh. Uh, and then, like, it has to end, like, yeah. sadly. Like, mm-hmm. it has to end with him, like, being, uh, like, hung, oh. like, at, at, like, a standing, like, he's standing there, he has his final words or whatever. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, like you know, it, it it ends. Is he a man now? He's grown up. Yeah, he's he's a man. And is he a terrible man, or is he like is he a hardened, a hardened pirate? He's not a bad guy, but he's just like mm-hmm. calloused, you know. Mm. And there's there he you know on the stand he starts talking about his adventures and his life or mm-hmm. whatever. And mm-hmm. oh, there's someone in the crowd, <gasps> a little slave boy, who hears him. <gasps> And, and it he, goes on. And he gets on a pirate his, ship. His legacy goes on, That's dude. fucking good. That's a good... That's a good movie. Come I, on, man. I, that would be a good movie. Who's starring? Fuck. What actor? I'm, well, because in my opinion, if you have... I really, I really loved your idea of like maybe the first quarter halfway through the movie... What you, the audience, thought was, oh, these, these are the actors that are going to be with us. Completely new. Cash like, almost, like when I was watching the first season of Game of Thrones, if you haven't seen it, fucking spoil. I mean, you, yeah. you spoil like morning. the the main dude, the dad or whatever, like it's decapitated or something. At like the f- f- fucking first episode, season. Uh, first season or something. Yeah. And I was like, I thought I was going to be with him the whole time. Like mm-hmm. they just, and I would love that feeling. That's an amazing feeling to add into this movie. So maybe the lead... Man, it changes I, uh, throughout like you just change character perspectives like you're following yeah. the same story but yeah. your character dies and then you follow the next guy like, yeah that would be sick that would be good i'm throwing tom holland in there okay. as like one of your first because he's still kind of like kid looking yeah. you know yeah, he's still kid looking and then like uh, we you could take inspiration from like Anne bonnie and mary reed those people i was mm-hmm. telling you about and like mm-hmm. have a girl that's like cross-dressing trying mm-hmm. to like fit in with the guys or whatever mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. would be fucking sick and that's that florence be, Pugh. 
Yeah. That's Florence Pugh all day. And then, but what's the, I'm trying to think of a good, a guy that kind of. Barack dude, Obama. Gives me pirate vibe. Barack, Barack Obama, <laughs> dude. Barack Obama. <laughs> Uh, it gives me like pirate vibes because Robert could Robert Downey Jr. be a pirate? Yeah, yeah. I think he could. Yeah. He was a black guy in Tropic Thunder. He can do. He has <laughs> range. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, and people dude. are pissed off about that. I heard. I heard like, like people Still? just now have been like, no. At the time, I think it was fine. I think people uh-huh. just now have been like finding the movie, mm-hmm. and people are like. He can't do that. He can't do that. And I'm like, you didn't watch the movie. Come on. The whole point of it is like, he, like his character is like, everyone knows what he's doing is fucked up. Yeah. Like everyone's like, what the fuck are you? Like he has that moment with the, the other black guy. He's like, that word has held us down for so long. And he's like, what do you mean us? For 400 years. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Like yeah. the whole point of that was to show that he's a dumbass. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand the whole can- cancel culture on that thing, but I would, I would like to have, Robert Downey Jr. Ju- or ooh, could Killian Murphy be a pirate? The Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Could he be a pirate? Yeah, but he would. He would be. Yeah. No, he would be in the movie, but he'd be like the governor. Like I could see him as like a fancy big wig, like yeah, he- sailing the seas trying to mm-hmm. find the pirates. Mm-hmm. I think a pirate character, like oh, I know who's I know. like who's like just a raggedy person. I know that's what I'm trying to think of, like a. Uh, like I guess you could do like Jason Momoa. No, I'm not. No, dude. No, dude. Cal Drogo. Don't even do this to me. He right did now. Cal Drogo. I, don't, don't I think that would be fine. Have you seen Aquaman two? Yeah. Okay. Aquaman. <laughs> after Aquaman two, I. I'm all, done. All right. I'm done. That's fair. I'm done. I would say. Oh man. Uh, fuck it. You could just throw. I the want rock Daniel Day Lewis in there. Yeah. But he's in retirement. He ain't gonna come back out. But I would love until it if we pitch Day-Lewis. this movie. Yeah. If we pitch yeah. this movie, we, yeah. we'll bring him out of retirement. That's no problem. Do you think there's like a really old pirate? And they're, or do you think they like, did, would they ever eat the the slaves or whatever that they captured from like an old ship? Say like they're adrift. Like eat them? Like an arm or a leg. Is that too much? Is that a pirate thing? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I think that's just a survival thing. Yeah. Like if it was like a castaway kind of like, yeah. like. Well, I'm thinking of the little kid, right? Hiding somewhere. And he's just hearing screams of like maybe they're torturing him or cutting off a limb so they can eat the limb or something. And he's just bunkering away in fear. Yeah. Or, or, or just hearing like from the top, like he's in the and he hears what's going on. It's yeah. dark. Maybe even something starts falling from the floorboards, a little blood or something. Starts, little, yeah. The cracks in the wood. Oh, that would be nuts. You're just there and like mm. falls on your forehead. And it's black and white, dude. It's got to be black and white. Yeah. I, I need something black and white. Oh, I agree. This I'm, is a good one. I'm liking this movie. Can ideal. we not post this part so we can like <laughs> no, write dude. this down? No, dude, dude. People are gonna take this. They will take it. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure someone will make it at some point. But I've I've wanted to make uh, up until this point. This is now my number three. But two movies. I want to do a movie about Frank Sinatra because apparently that guy was way more involved with the mafia and Marilyn Monroe and like actually was like, whoa, what was he doing? Yeah, I would like to do something with Frank Sinatra. And I want to do a Viking movie of just a fucking... Have you seen The Northman? No, that's based after after what happened in Braveheart, right? Isn't that based out like a sequel, basically? Uh-uh. Oh. Uh-uh. Then no. Uh-uh. No, The Northman is directed by Robert Edgars. It's with the same guy that plays Tarzan in the live-action Tarzan. He's, mm-hmm. But it, it, he's like a Viking... But it it's not the same style. I would I want a Viking movie where the Vikings come in and just rape and murder and pillage. Dude, have you seen and, Vinland Saga? What? Vinland Saga? Mm-mm. It's an anime, but okay. it's it's on Netflix. And yeah, dude, the whole first season is just a lot of Vikings yeah. doing that shit, man. Yeah. It's it, and it's like it's gory. Mm-hmm. And that's it, what I want. It just follows like a kid that's like trying to get revenge for his dad that died. And he turned, he's that's like classic. Four, he's 14 and he's mm-hmm. like a fucking psychopath. He has like two daggers and he like, he he's on the crew with the guy who killed his dad because he's like, he's trying to like set up a one V one and get stronger. Like he's basically just following him around and the guy will be like, Hey, go kill that guy. And I'll one V one you or whatever. Uh-huh. And like, he goes after this dude that's like seven foot tall 
throwing trees and shit, and he's stabbing them in the neck. Like, holy oh, shit, it's good. Holy it, shit, it gets brutal there. So yeah, if you want to watch something, fucking yeah, I need to. I want to watch something Vikingy because I've seen some like The Last Kingdom. I've seen the. I think there's a show literally called The Vikings. Vikings yeah, um, I saw some of that, but it's it's not what I want. Mm-hmm. I want I want the Vikings to come in and really just. And it'd be super... I want, I want to see something where they build a giant fire. I mean, a huge fire. Yeah. Then everybody sits around this fire and then, like, locks arms and just starts rowing, sitting on the ground rowing and maybe, like, chanting something. Oh. And then the next scene is, like, a village and they're, like, making their breakfast or whatever. And then you just hear the drums, drums coming and they know what's happening and then all of a sudden Vikings start coming. Ah! That's something that That's, I think would be one. I think we need to bring back, but like, like imagine hearing like you're just staring at a hill hillside and you just hear, dum, 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 dum. oh fuck, dum. man! Like that that scary sounding. Whereas the British, the British would come over, <laughs> and I, I and like that, that kind of makes me want to like ah they're fine like yeah. no harm but like the whenever it's like deep like oh i think and it's uh, slow and it starts to build and like, you know they're getting closer and closer or hearing the scottish bagpipes the man the that that shit i think is fucking especially you're looking at the mountains and you just hear bagpipes and you see a whole bunch of dudes in skirts come out oh fucking scary fuck me man what would be even scarier is if they didn't have anything on fully naked with like pig blood or something they put all over them hatchets and hands just coming to kill and rape and take everything you have but it's like but like ah! but only you like like not the women and children they own they they, they like want. specifically say like we're raping the dudes i'd be like <sighs> fuck fuck fuck, fuck yeah i shit. want something i want a movie like that that by the end of it you're so mentally overstimulated you need a break you know what i mean you're like oh God. like you lost a few calories from just like you're just fucking, sweating yeah yeah uh-huh That'd be sick. That's how I feel after watching like anything with like Nathan Fielder in it. Have you watched like Nathan for You? Is that the guy that kind of he like talks? Yeah, slow, or he, he does. He's very yeah. awkward. And yeah, dude, he does shit where I'm like, I I think that if I ever I'm not gonna talk about becoming president again uh-huh. because, <laughs> because we keep on getting right. demonetized right, right, for right, me right. being president. But if I was ever in a form of power, uh-huh. I would constantly have a person fucking watching that guy. Because really? he does stuff that, like, it's not illegal, mm-hmm. but it feels like it should be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, 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 there's just certain episodes where I'm like, what? how did he get away? Like, he got yeah. this psychiatrist to sign off on this guy being marked as, like, clinically insane mm-hmm. by walking in and saying, yeah, dude, this guy's crazy. Like, he thinks he works at uh, this, uh, this technology store or, mm-hmm. uh, like, a Best Buy and... He, he he just ask him about uh the alligator. He says like he got a free TV for like what? walking around an all- alligator or something like that. All of things that this guy actually did and does mm-hmm. and he's like, "Yeah, he'll he always talks about this." He brings them in and they go, "So, what do you do?" And he goes, "Oh, I work at this tech store." And she like looks over at him and is mm-hmm. like, "Uh, and like he explains the alligator thing and and she's like, "Yeah, he's crazy." He, no he sounds way. crazy. No way. And he gets him like, uh, yeah, gets no. him marked as like clinically insane and shit. So yeah, Nathan Fielder, I'm like, he's funny as fuck, but goddamn. <sighs> That's that, a dangerous. That feels That's illegal. A dangerous <laughs> I saw, I watched actually, I didn't watch it all, but I watched a couple episodes of, I believe it's The Curse. Yeah. With him and Emma Stone. Yeah. Sh- they do a pretty good job of being like uncomfortable and like, because uh, what's Nathan for you? Yeah. He, he just, that's his, that's, his, that's his tone the whole time. Yeah. So then you watch the curse and you're like, okay, he's going to bring something different into it. And it's, it's a little bit different, but you're like, oh, wow. He's either that's who he is. Like he is that way or he's so good at putting on this persona that like, man, it, it's, it has to be, it's, 50/50. it's good. It's really good. It but. has to be 50, 50 real and not real. Yeah. What is, All right, here we go. My next, which one do you want to do? Openly mocking people or your plan for when the world ends? Because the world is going to end soon. I keep saying this. Which one? Or your view on working out. Which one do you want to go? I, I, I mean, I like the world ending. I love, now, do you have a plan? 
Yes, but like, no. Like, I, I mm-hmm. watch a lot of survival shows. Mm-hmm. I feel like I know mm-hmm. what I do. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I'd have to get out of here, of course. I'd have to get, like, right the fuck out of this town. This is so interesting to me. I would get, I like, love hearing people's story, their ideas. Tell me what you would do. Say, 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 all of a sudden, you know how we get Amber Alerts? Yeah. Boom. In seven minutes, Russia's missiles are going to hit these parts of the world. Right. Well, and first I'm pissed. Right. I'm mad. Right, of course. I of like course. that that that's so inconsiderate. Right, no, I know. It's like, come on, man. Why you did do this you do now? That? I like you know. uh, that would make me so I'd be like, Ugh, why? Uh, that, I would I would be annoyed at first. Uh-huh. And then I'd go, I you know, you gotta lock in. Yeah. Uh I mean I know exactly what I'm doing. But I, but you're gonna flee. I'm gonna find uh yeah, I gotta flee. I mm-hmm. gotta be on water. Mm-hmm. I want to be on water. Mm-hmm. Like, no one can sneak up on me. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just, like, planted, you know, in mm-hmm. the middle. Mm-hmm. I would find someone who also has that idea mm-hmm. and steal their shit. Because right. there's people out there. Wow, dude, you turned to chaos so fast. You took... You got to. I don't... I'm you not that prepped. Chaos. I'm not getting those buckets or whatever, but I yeah. know there's people out there uh-huh. that are getting, like, the prepping doomsday. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, like, you know, I... would Mark down the people that do have that shit and like take it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd get a gun. That mm-hmm. that would be what I'd bring with me. Step a, one. A gun. gun. And then be like, I know you just, you know, mm-hmm. I know I know you spent all this time prepping. Right. You got all this shit, but you didn't get a gun. <laughs> you didn't get a gun. So, by laws of nature, uh, this is mine. And I, I, I don't know if I could like shoot them though. That would but if you Really? If you don't like Really? If you don't shoot him, he's going to come back. Yeah, you know, he's going to kill take, you, man. Take his shit. But, mm-hmm. like, not if you, like, take his thumb. They, like, take his thumbs wow, or something. Wow, dude, you are so, that's so evil. Is it? That's, like, I'm not killing him. Dude, you, I would rather somebody kill me. Than take than, your thumb? Than take my thumbs and, like, my two feet. Could you imagine you take someone's thumbs and their two feet so no, they have I wouldn't take, legs? No, I'd just take their, their toe, their pinky toes so they couldn't walk right, you know. That, Bro, that seems like so much more evil than just <laughs> killing him. <laughs> that seems like torture, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, like, I just, that just seems like, I don't want to kill you. I want to yeah. hurt you, but, like, I don't want, I. Yeah, all right, all right. I, I mean, well, but okay. if they're cool. Yeah. But I could, you couldn't trust them. You'd have to take their stuff. I, my thing would be, like, I feel like other people would try to come find me because I talked mm-hmm. about it a lot. And mm-hmm. they'd be like, help me. And I'd be like, look. Not gonna. I can't. Right. I, I, you know, if I could, maybe. you know, m- maybe, but like, you know, in, in a situation like, like if you show up, uh huh, you show up, you're, you know, tattered shirt. Yeah. You know, help, you, you, help, man. You, you, please. Uh, J- J- Jacob, please, man. Jacob. I, first, I'm gonna, I, I'm just gonna act like you didn't, you know, I didn't yeah. hear anything. Right. You know, right. Jacob, it's me. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I gotta uh, deal with this shit. Now. Hey, hey, man, how you been? <laughs> no, what's up? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, here, do it. Uh, walk up to me. You're, you're, you're like struggling. Okay. okay. You're struggling. And, uh, take him, take him, please. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting into it. Nice. Take, him, please, man. It's nice. Please, please. Uh, they killed my family, man. I don't have anything, man. Please. Oh, uh, please, man. You, get, please, man. We work together. We were. You were on my podcast. Man. Oh, oh, yes. Um, Yes, this, it was a spare what bedroom. The spare, yeah. Yes, yeah, man. Come on, that please. That is crazy. Please don't take my thumbs. Can you, no, no, no. Can you please. take like three steps forward and a little bit to your right? Well, yeah, okay. And then okay. My, my leaf trap. Oh, you, you fall, you fuck. fall down into the my, Viet Cong. yeah, my leaf yep. trap. Get you. No, you I, I wouldn't stabbed. have spikes. You'd just be in like a hole. Dude, what the fuck is up with you and torturing people? <laughs> Just fucking kill them. No, I don't want to. You break one leg I'm not on a, a fall down. Uh, I'm not a murderer. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm just going to keep you in this pit and then put the top back on. And you're like, well, it, what? If it was just me, I would be like, because I need to question you. I need to make sure, you yeah. know, and because I, I could use the muscle, I feel mm-hmm. like. But like, mm-hmm. I can't be like one to one with you. You, ha- you have to see yeah. that like, okay, he's... He's like he on one right now. He, mm-hmm. he he'll kill me. Like if 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 shit goes to shit, I'd still be the same guy. You know, yeah. just like more. I mur- think I murderous. I would. I think I'd be way more murderous. I think it. I think it's bad. You'd, I think I think my first plan would be, 
A, bunker down hardcore. If you have guns and weapons and stuff, bunker down hardcore. The, anybody that comes to your door that you don't know or you're not willing to talk to, they're just dead. They're yeah. dead. They're dead. No, no chance. Because now if they know that you're alive in there and you have stuff to stay alive, Gonna they could back. they could go back and come back with more people. Mm-hmm. They got to go. Yeah. That which is which is tough. Which is tough, right? Is they're gonna be like, please, like I'm not gonna tell anyone, like. Or or what you do, is you chain them up, like a giant, like onto a tree. You chain them up to a tree, and you don't give them any food. You don't give them any water. You don't give them, any, and all they do is just sit outside and scream for help. Oh my so God. now p- passerby's, they go, don't fucking go over there. Yeah. Right. So you don't have to kill them, but now it's all like. You know, yard art. A head on a spike would be like, that's that's also like something that I would be like, we're not fucking. We're yeah, not be like, let's turn let's turn this shit around. You know, let's get out of here. What kind of animal do you bring with you? You get one animal that's wow. going to the, the, gonna be your companion. Peregrine falcon. Oh, okay, that was fucking fast. Peregrine is that, falcon. Is that the fastest falcon? Is mm-hmm. that like the fastest animal on earth? Right. Mm-hmm. It yeah. goes like two hundred miles per yeah, hour. Yeah, buddy. Have you seen the video of that guy who has a falcon and he like drives by? And like, yeah, dude, he's like, he th- throws it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like a drive by falcon. That yeah, dude. I, mm-hmm. I always said uh, a parrot. I always said, why? A, oh, to like mimic? Well, I'd want to, like, yeah, teach it some jokes. <laughs> like, dog, hold on. Teach it, you know. End of the world, end of the world. And you want to teach the parrot I want jokes. something to talk to. Right. I, yeah, no, okay. I'm not talking to a fucking volleyball. Like, right. Fucking, Wilson. Yeah, no. I'm, yeah. I, I want to talk to my parrot, and he'd be mm-hmm. annoying, you know? Uh-huh. He'd be like, ah, pussy, or something. Like, and I'd yeah, be like, yeah. shut the fuck up. You know, we'd have yeah. that kind of, like, yeah, yeah, dynamic. Yeah. The camaraderie. Like, yeah, like, oh, parrot. you're giving me shit, you know? But, like, uh-huh. I could send him up it's, yeah. as a scout mm-hmm. and be like, what's going on? And he'd come back and be like, enemies, you know? Like, he'd yes. know, he'd, he'd be able to talk to me and tell me, like, yeah. There's people. Wow, that's actually. Maybe I do want a parrot then, because yeah. then the because the falcon couldn't communicate, Mm-mm. but the falcon could be like a good scout and come back with like a mouse or something, and that could give me just enough food to survive another day. You know what I mean? But it's got to come back with two because you got to feed it too. Yeah, you got to feed the falcon, and then eventually, if you run out of food, you got to. I'll eat the falcon. You gotta eat the falcon. I'm gonna eat falcon. the falcon. I, like that, or like, <laughs> honestly, like I, I've always thought, a uh, parrot, great choice, mm-hmm. and then maybe just like a cow. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> yeah, milk, like or like a goat. Yeah, a goat would. I love goats. Goats' eyes. Have you seen their pupils? Yeah, they're like yeah, little yeah, rectangles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. shit's sick. It's wild. I don't really? know. Like snake eyes. Yeah. How the fuck? What are some weird eyes? Like, can you look like that up? Like a fly. Like what? Flies have weird eyes. Moles, like that are in the dirt, have weird eyes. Look up what other animals have rectangle eyes. Animals with weird eyes. Yeah. Chameleons. Chameleons. Look at this thing. Uh, uh, Tarisia. Oh, look how tiny its pupils are. Whoa, look at the gecko. Or hold on, let's see here. Wow, look at this. Ew, look, look at, at that, the, the thing in the middle. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Is that like... A- look at this deer. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? Wow, these are actually oh, pretty interesting. Look at that. Uh, go go down, down to right. What is that? What the fuck is that? Wow. What wow. the fuck is- What the fuck is that, dude? Th- there's no pupil there. I don't know. what the- it, Or is that like underneath? Oh, well, look at this. Napping it- eyes of a tree frog. Oh, Wow, that's wild looking. That's, that's really wild looking. Weird. Evolution is weird. Yeah, man. Like I don't. Yeah, it is. Did you? Okay, you know, like it would be like kind of impossible for us to like grow wings in evolution. Yeah. Uh, but like, base jump enough. Yeah, it, you would have to be. It would have to be beneficial in some yeah. way, like every stage of it to like mm-hmm. have wings or whatever. Uh-huh. I watched this like whole video over like why we can't have wings. I was I was oh, fucking fuming man. watching that video. I feel like we have a better chance of getting gills than we do wings. Like like there's more swimmers than flyers. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like we're down more than we are up. Mm-hmm. We're more we're down people. Mm-hmm. Well, then again, we did go to. Do you? Nicole was telling me something. Do you believe in the moon landing? 
All right, we're going to restart these cameras. We got to restart these cameras. We got to restart them if we're going to get Yeah, I'm like the real. worst person to talk to about. I, I basically, I don't believe in almost any conspiracy. Really? I'm, I do. Well, let's restart. Let me restart. Okay. okay. All right, and we're back. So hold on. Yeah, I believe if I had to look down into my heart, I would say the moon landing was fake. And I believe space is fake. What? <laughs> and, and, and I believe space is fake. Mm-hmm. That's a lot to deal mm-hmm. with. So it's what? A, it's well, a lot. Why? Like. Mm-hmm. Why? What do you see? Like. Mm-hmm. When you see the moon and, landing, and the Earth is flat. Well, okay. <laughs> and the Earth is flat. I would say like mm-hmm. maybe like square, <laughs> like like a Minecraft world. It could be square, but it like could be square. What? It, so you see the moon landing video? Yeah. And shit. Yeah. And what makes you go like nah? It looks fake. <laughs> <laughs> just not. Nah. I just don't believe it. Dude. I don't. Trust well, okay. It. I uh, Stanley Kubrick. The whole the whole conspiracy theory revolves around him. Yeah. The whole thing. So. And you the, know, I'm. Mean, don't want to just rant. You know. You know about the Shining, the coincidences in the Shining, and then his movie, The Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah. Like, or at least like. I know that there's like people that tie in certain things yeah. and saying like he recorded yeah, or he, like he filmed the whole fucking yeah. moon. That just seems like, bro, we, whenever something like this comes up, like I don't doubt like people can lie, uh-huh. but like, I'm like, it took, there was like what, 900 people during the, the uh, Oppenheimer project or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. That shit got out in like a year. Yeah, that shit. Like immediately, the Russians had the the codes for nuclear shit, or yeah. they, they knew how to make them. So I'm like a set full of actors mm-hmm. who sit there and chat. They're fucking. They chat yeah. all the time. You're telling no one, like mm-hmm. all the astronomers, all the like. Mm-hmm. It, they, it comes up to like you know hundreds of thousands of people, yeah. and I'm like. No one is being like, yo, by the way, like, we filmed that fucking See, shit. See, here we go. That, here we go. Well, in, in my opinion, I go, it's not like a normal set. This is something that's closed. Not anyone could go on the Oppenheimer Project. It was closed. Though it did still leak. Yeah. This this would have to be a closed set. And, and the reason I, it must have gotten out because I don't, be, I don't believe it, right? So someone yeah. must have along the way had to do it. But I feel like. You could go into like the shadows. I heard that one time. There's like a double shadow, or why is the flag doing that? Or like random shit like that. I yeah. Go, eh. It see. It looks fake to me. Okay. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Then that's fair. I, I go so far as I go. Stanley Kubrick did it. Then he created the movie Eyes Wide Shut. Then they killed him. And then I look at footage when Buzz Aldrin and all of them came back from the moon landing. They don't look like they just fucking. <laughs> what are you came. supposed to look they, like? They, they were like all shed. No, yeah, no. I'm like, bro, you just went to the. You were the first person on the fucking moon, bro. And then they lost the original footage of well, them on the moon. They didn't lose it, or they taped over it. Yeah, they it, taped. You taped over the first time human history has been to the moon. I it's think just it's gone. Still archived. I don't think it's gone. It's gone. I don't think it's, it's gone. Gotta be I, th- gone. I think it's still around in the no. ether somewhere. Like my thing Man. is like I, I know I'm the worst to talk about. I'm I'm very like uh just Occam's razor. Like I, I look at a situation and I usually just think like what is the simplest solution mm-hmm. to this? And like so like 9-11. Yeah. Whenever people are like, oh, did, did, there was bombs on the inside. It was. I tend to think the the giant fucking plane <laughs> that smacked into the building yeah. might have been the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I like that just I mean, people can run free with it as yeah. long as you're not hurting anyone. But like I, I, I see that shit and I'm immediately like, yeah, like mm. that makes sense to me. Also, like that's interesting. I'm thinking like if I were Russia and I'm mm. like. They didn't go to the fucking moon, like, or any of these other space. I, I would have been like, look, no, they're fucking bullshitting. Like, uh, th- that's not what happens. This is our, like, there's so many reasons for other people to say fuck you. Well, let's watch this footage together. Okay. This is when August 23rd, 2023, making India the fourth nation to successfully land on the moon, right? Mm-hmm. This was CSIS.org right here. 
Uh huh. Center for Strategic and International Studies, right there. Uh huh. So we're gonna watch the Guardian News. India's blah 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 makes historic <laughs> moon landing. Let's watch this together. Tell me what you think about this. Do you know why? Oh wow! Fuck you, HBO ad. Okay, so anyway, Anyone this footage. When I saw this, I was like, "There's no country. way." Shall feel How are they able to trick Good. India? India has like such a high population. How are they able to trick them Max. to believing that this this is real? This is from the Guardian. See the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, who is here to encourage Fake name. us. Look at that. And he is critically looking at the visuals. Wow! Look at that. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, that looks. And. Wow. wow, dude. They landed on the moon, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Dog. Bro, you're trying to tell me that looks like real footage, too, right there. Yeah. It just looks like, dude, have you ever, like, tried... Brother, you're lying to me right now. It just looks... They're in space. It looks like it's a, it has a lag, but, like, yeah. Brother, man. What dude, are you talking about? we can get a telescope. <laughs> we, can get, we can look up there. We have shit up there that we left. All right. See, this is... All right. Anyway, all right oh, shit. Turn that off. We can just look. I would say... Hold on. If anyone in NASA, if you guys need some new astronauts... <laughs> send us. Yeah. Just, send us just to there. prove a fucking point yeah uh, i would i think because there's, there's a couple different ways i could just go i think it's fake right or i go there's also like kind of a biblical way which i'm still trying to study are you religious are you christian no i'm a. I have my own religion i made it up uh, okay it, well i thought everyone would like i'm not a atheist but i mm -hmm. definitely have like I don't know like i saw everyone else was kind of having fun with their religion and mm -hmm. so i kind of like made up my own. So All right. I got you. I'll just okay. replace whatever your God is with my God. Okay. In the the first book of the Bible, in Genesis, it's like the first chapter. It's talking about God creating earth, right? Mm -hmm. He creates the earth, creates the sun, he makes light, he speaks all these things. But it's like verse three, mm -hmm. he, he says, and he was hovering over the water. Mm -hmm. Who's God what? never created water. No, wa water has apparently always been here, according to the Bible. It, it, in the Bible, it goes down, it says God created the land, he created the animals, he created the sun, he created the moon, he created the stars, he created, created humans, he created blah, blah, blah. Never does it say he created water. Just, water was apparently just always there. So is God water? So then you start to go into this weird thing, and then he starts talking about how he separates the water, and that there's water above us. And then you go, why does like NASA perform or like practice spacewalks underwater. And then you're like, huh. And then you're like, man. And then it says God puts angels at the four corners of the earth. And so you're like, oh, fucking, we're a sphere. We ain't got no fucking yeah. corners. And then you start to go like, what the fuck is going on here, man? So the, the conspiracy theory has a couple different layers to it. So I, I'm like, I just go like, I go, I've been lied to plenty of times before. It's all fake. It's yeah. all fake. That's that's my that's my. Style. Oh, dude, I'm a sheep. I'm like, just tell <laughs> me sheep. when it comes. And I I'll say like, I'd say my way of thinking is correct most of the time. It mm -hmm. does like like there are certain things that yeah I I could get fooled by, but like yeah I I'm not a I'm not smart. Mm -hmm. I know that. I know my limitations when it comes to science and shit. I trust the people that know the shit. Mm -hmm. Whenever they're telling me they're like. Hey, like, I don't know, like whenever they were doing the, the vaccine thing, yeah. uh, I was like, okay, like, I, you guys seem like in, intelligent enough people. And then there were people saying like, oh, uh, if you get the vaccine, you'll become mag magnetic. And I was like, that's sick. Uh, yeah. So that's why I got the Johnson and Johnson one. But yeah. like, like, yeah, I'm usually like, usually the, the simple solution, it's never like, appealing it's never sexy mm -hmm. like it, that's why i feel like people go off the rails with yeah. shit but like yeah. i think a lot of the times shit's just boring and uh -huh. that's how shit happens uh don't get me wrong like if i'm shown evidence that's like anyway here's the other guy that killed jfk we have a video or yeah yeah, yeah. i'm with you jfk is yeah. one that's weird i'm like i don't know that one's a weird one i don't i don't know what the fuck happened there uh, the the only reason i think 9-11, you brought that up. The only reason I ever would think 
it was more than just the planes mm-hmm. is because Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein had that painting of George W. Bush. Have you seen that one? No. On Epstein Island. Let's let's pull it up together. Uh, let's go Epstein painting of Bush. Jeffrey Epstein had a couple different paintings in his house. One was of Bill Clinton. This what was a painting fuck? of Bill Clinton because Bill Clinton wrote on apparently Jeffrey Epstein's plane like 30 something times. What the fuck? And yeah. then he has this one of George W. Bush with these paper airplanes and these two crumbled Lego Jenga towers. Yeah. And so you're like, hold the fuck on. Holy fuck. This guy's got this, these paintings in his fucking house of two presidents. One dressed up like a woman. I mean, that painting tells me, oh, I have so much dirt on you, motherfucker. I'm yeah. going to have a paint like, and then this other one. Huh? I think what? I think it, it could be just describing it was his, like in a way it's it's his fault. Like apparently we were getting messages and stuff that like uh, it was going to happen or something. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I guess you can get into like how many of those do they get a day or what whatever yeah. the fuck, but like yeah, there was definitely negligence on the part of mm-hmm. our defense ministry. Yeah. So like I could see them being like, yeah, dude, that is your fault. You didn't fucking, uh, you did no precautionary shit. Yeah. And plus there was a guy in the Middle East that was like fucking ready fu- to kill. Yeah. And I tend to believe the guy that got on camera and was like, hey, you know the, about those planes? Mm-hmm. That was fucking me. Like, yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, who takes credit for I'm that guessing, shit, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to be like, like if I didn't do it, I would immediately be like, hey, 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 you guys, I wish, yeah. I wish I did, but that, that's, no. That was a lot. That, that that's was a, a lot. lot. Even for me, I, I'm not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like, yeah, but he was just like, he walked up. No, I did that shit. No, nah, that was me. You're like, oh. oh yeah. Oh, You're like, oh. are you, are you sorry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it really hurts my feelings, man. No, uh, yeah. it, did you know he had a? Uh, well, he was uh, he had like Ice Age two or something like that on his laptop. Whenever they no way, I think it was Ice Age. Look that up. Well, the, 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 we'll we'll cap it off on that. What, okay, what was Osama watching? Osama bin Laden, Ice Ice Age. Uh, yeah. It's strange to think that the mastermind behind the death of thousands of people would have Disney films in his hideout, but yeah. several were found. <laughs> no, he had cars, no, including cars, Chicken Little, <laughs> and Ice Age. <laughs> oh, no. And Dawn no. of the Di- Yeah, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. What a fucking banger! And Chicken Little. I, I imagine Osama watching there, like as a Chicken Little's like complaining about the sky, and he's like, "No one's listening. To <laughs> no one listened to the chicken." <laughs> this bro this was the fucking movie Osama Bin Laden was watching in his I'd house. be so pissed if I got shot while I was like watching that movie <sighs> like right at a climactic point I'd be like wait 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 <laughs> like let me watch like let me finish this and then we can do He's, the squirrel's going for the acorn hold please, on please, please and then imagine the, 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 the SEAL Team 6 is like oh yeah hold on oh yeah, hold on this is a good part this hold is on, a good guys. stop 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 <laughs> <laughs> hold on it's cars. Are you guys good in there? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're Lightning watching the McQueen. part where Doc Hudson accidentally, he, he, he crashed. Oh, just, ciao. just like sitting around with Osama, just like. <laughs> I, love, the, I love this movie. At the end of it, like, wow, that was nice. Like, uh, all right, Osama, like, uh, that was fun. I'll see it. Wait a Wait a minute. A minute. <laughs> and he's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, and then they killed him. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, let's end on that. That was fucking hilarious, dude. I did not know that. Hell yeah. All right. Well, thank well, you guys. Well, tell, tell everybody where you, they, they can follow you at. Uh, of course, J- Jacob underscore Andrews with two S's uh, mm-hmm. on Instagram. Uh, Jacobite on YouTube. J-A-C-O-B-I-T-T-E. Mm-hmm. Um, that is really the only two places that you can find me. Boom. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for Thanks watching for, yeah. the Spare Bedroom Podcast. Number 69, Number baby. Number 69. We, we hope to have more in the fucking making. Yeah, we do. Uh, there were some audio dipping problems last time. God. We got those fucking situated, fixed yeah. out. Yeah, we did. We're a professional fucking crew here. This, I feel way better about this episode. Yeah. This was a good one. This was a good one. This was a good one. Yeah. All we'll right. Make some clips. Do our shit. 
uh, just have a good time. Just having a good time. Yep. I, I, I hope everyone else out there having a great time. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. And uh, get to doing something. Yep. You need to do something. Do something. Do something. Do something out there. If you're not fucking doing anything, goddamn, just yeah, lazy anything. fuck. Just do something. Yeah. Get into fucking Jenga. Be collect Jenga. bugs. Do something. Something. All Don't. right. Bye, guys. Bye.